India has not been kept out of loop. On the 19th of January, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman called up India's Foreign Secretary, Dr. Harsh Vardhan Shringla. The two discussed the current situation. It's been eight days. But Delhi has not yet issued an official statement. This silence explains India's dilemma. For India, this is not a Russia versus Ukraine conflict. It is Russia versus the West. Or Russia versus the United States plus the European Union. Both the sides have immense strategic importance for India. Nearly 60% of India's military supplies come from Russia. Jeopardizing ties with Russia is not an option, especially at a time when the Chinese are breathing down New Delhi's neck. Siding with Russia is not an option either. First, because India cannot support a coercive military occupation, especially when it is fighting Chinese expansion itself. Second, siding with Russia would mean jeopardizing ties with the West. India cannot afford that. The West is a comprehensive partner. The US and India, for example, share common democratic values. The European Union is India's third largest trading partner. So it's a dilemma, but not the kind India has not tackled before. In 2014, Russia had annexed Crimea. The West had united against the Kremlin, and India was expected to react. New Delhi did react, but in a very calculated and cautious way. New Delhi expressed concern over the annexation, but abstained from voting in the UNGA resolution against Russia. India remained neutral. In 2008, Abkhazia and South Ossetia broke away from Georgia. This was a result of a military conflict between Russia and Georgia. India did not recognize either Abkhazia or South Ossetia as independent countries. India remained neutral. Similarly, India did not recognize Kosovo when it declared independence in 2008. Washington stood by Kosovo after it broke away from Serbia, but India stayed neutral. For Indian diplomacy sovereignty is non-negotiable. Peace is non-negotiable too. If India is to side with either Russia or Ukraine, it is likely to side with dialogue. New Delhi will support constructive solutions against sanctions.